Hello everybody, Rapid Fire Gaming here. Welcome to another episode of Mortal Kombat 11. And I just woke up like 10 minutes ago, so if I sound a little bit off, you'll know what happened. The last episode was kind of cringe because I had literally just got done recording an episode of Street Fighter Alpha. So as I was playing um, th that, I decided to record an episode of MK11 right after because I'm an idiot. But right now we're on Liu Kang. Everybody knows who Liu Kang is. Yeah, he, he's one of my favorites, so obviously I'm very familiar with him, as you guys should be as well. Um, the last few episodes have um, gotten age-restricted by YouTube because YouTube's on some dumb shit. You mean to tell me of all the things, right? Of all the things that have been going on, you want to age-restrict a video game character getting his head cut off. You are actually on some stupid shit. Just saying, YouTube. But it's okay. We'll figure that shit out. Um, but anyway, so that means we're not making any money off of that. Not that we were making any money to begin with. Just saying. That's not why I do this. I don't do this to make money. I don't give a shit about making money. I do this to have fun and enjoy myself. And I know you guys have probably saw we've been live streaming as well. We also live stream a lot on this channel. Um, Tyler usually live streams a lot too on this channel. A lot. He was live streaming uh, MK11 as well as Friday the 13th. Yeah, Friday the 13th was... That game... I don't play Friday the 13th anymore, but... I used to, but not anymore. It's gotten stale, the game to me. It was fun at first, but it's one, that's one of those games where it gets fun at first, but it gets really, 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 really stale. Because there's not much substance to it. It's, it's like Dead by Daylight. The only difference between Dead by Daylight and Friday the 13th is... Dead by Daylight has a lot of substance to it. There's a lot of killers to choose from. Um, there's a lot of survivors to choose from. There's different perks you can try out. But with Friday the 13th, there's not really much with that game. and Which is kind of sad because I, I am an apps. I love, absolutely fucking love Jason. He is one of my favorite slashers of all time. He's one of my favorite monsters of all time. He is my favorite monster of all time. And, and you know, Jason's one of my favorites. In fact, he is, no, he is my favorite. Let me correct myself. He is my favorite. And it's just, it's sad. They can't really get the games right. Let's see, that's what, the third Jason-influenced game that they've made ever? I know I could be wrong, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but but yeah, that's literally it. The, the game, there's not much substance to it. But that's just my opinion. I hope he's having fun with it. I did not think it was that good. Um, but like I mentioned, at the time you're seeing this video, that that's probably long, 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 long done. But... Yeah, Friday the 13th was eh to me. It got a 3 out of 10. But then again, also at the time, you could kill people. You could kill your um, other chance other chancellors in there too. Like and when you're a chancellor, you can kill other chancellors. So, but now they've fixed it. They've fixed it all up where you can't kill each other. You can't troll each other by standing in front of the door anymore. You can't run people over with the with the damn. You can't run people over anymore. They really fucked that game up, and they got another a campaign for it. Why you got a campaign for a multiplayer based game? That makes no sense. But I'm not gonna go on a giant tangent about it. It is what it is. I don't play the game anymore. Hey, it's Fujin. I should have explained all the characters to you guys, but I didn't. Um, Fujin, 
The thing is about Fujin, right? He's fast. He's really fucking Your fast. He's bar none. I need flicker. The I fastest character big. in this game. Said the and to the that guy, Round I speed run with him for a reason. He is fucking quick. Yeah, you're getting hit with a body. That's just the way it is. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, um, we got I got a video that I made. Um, it was uh, me trolling people in a Call of Duty lobby, and I'm not too sure if I'm gonna post it here or if I'm going to post it on my main channel. I'm not too sure if I want to post it here or not. Um, it's me disguising myself as a, as a kid. Um, I was in a Facebook call with Ford and decided to troll people. Um, now, I don't consider myself to be the best Call of Duty player in the world. Never claim to be the best shooter game player in the world. Never claim to be the best gamer in the world. I'm just a gamer that loves video games. But the thing is about that, right? I found it to be funny. I found it to be funny because I did manage to get a kid all riled up. There was an actual child on my team, and he was arguing with a child, but I wasn't a child. I was a grown adult pretending to be a child. It was quite hilarious. Um, but that that's just my opinion. I think it was funny. I thought it was fucking hilarious. And it's Scorpion again. <clears throat> Your revenant is to be feared. I thought he was gone, Scorpion. His power's greater than Raiden realizes. Round one. Fight. Alright. Okay, Scorpion. Don't be a dick. Yeah, what I like about this stage is the crazy amount of times you can change the background to the old school MK, the old school Mortal Kombat stages. I kind of wish you could use them. Like, I kind of wish they actually had them on here. Instead of just putting them in the background, I kind of feel like that's kind of making, that's kind of teasing. Hopefully in Mortal Kombat 12, they actually put that in here. Which I will be doing a playthrough of that game when it comes out. When I get my hands on it, of course. And you know MK12 is going to be fucking lit, guys. You already know. So my dream roster for MK12. This is my dream roster, right? I want Reptile. Like old school Reptile. Classic Reptile. I want Ermac. I want rain, I want smoke, the mass smoke, and the ninja smoke, um, scorpion, the unmasked scorpion, because nobody's ever played as the unmasked scorpion, that'd be cool, um, potentially, maybe, um, maybe Jarek, maybe we could put Jarek in this game. I mean, MK12. Jarek would be nice. He doesn't get talked about very often. You know, Kano versus Jarek would be nice. Um, let's see, who else? Um, definitely 100% Chameleon. Chameleon needs to be in the game. Chameleon is awesome. I have been expecting you. It's literally just Kitana, Melina, and Jade fused into one. Let's see, who else? Um... Definitely Blaze. Blaze would be nice to have. It is time. And or, and Meat as well. Meat would be cool to have. I think Meat would be somebody unique. I don't I'm not you don't even necessarily have to fit them in the story. They can just be a bonus character, you know? Cause I like the new direction that Mortal Kombat's taking. I do. But sometimes you just want to have a little fun with it, you know? But 
Yeah, I don't know why I got silent. But not too sure exactly who else though, but that's the one that I would pick. Like even if um even if Reptile has to be DLC, that's cool. That'd be nice. But that's my dream roster so far. It's still a work in progress. Now I've been hearing rumbles that there's going to be another Death Jam game. I doubt it. Now, for those that are saying, oh, there's going to be a new Death Jam game, there's not going to be a Death Jam game. It's not happening. Death Jam is dead. It's gone. It's not coming back. So stop saying there's going to be a Death Jam game. It's not. There's not going to be a Death Jam game. It's not happening. But I would love for it to happen. I just want to point that out. I would love for that to happen, though. But it won't. You know what I mean? So, here we go, ladies and gents. The ending for Liu Kang. What does it mean to wield the sands of time? be the chosen one it means making choices that break your heart for the protection of all I shared Kronika's power with the people I trust and love most together we replaced the elder gods that Cetrion had betrayed and became eternal guardians of the realms still my heart longs for a simpler life the kind one cannot have being the chosen one, let alone an elder god. What Kitana and I would not give for those simple pleasures. Hmm. Perhaps in another timeline, it could be ours. So Kitana and Liu Kang ended up getting married. And Liu Kang ended up becoming an Elder God, pretty much. So pretty much the story that Liu Kang should have always had. But ladies and gentlemen, we are done with that. We are done with this episode, ladies and gents. I will see you guys next time.